Have you ever wished for a single package with all your AI needs? Setting up your AI infrastructure in minutes. To have LLMs and databases in one place. Your wish came true. We have self-hosted AI starter kit from N810 and it's getting more popular now. Also, this is a complete local AI setup. Llama for AI models using Olama, then Quadrant for vector database, Postgres for data storage, and N8 for workflow automation. That is putting all these things together. It's an all-in-one solution. What if you could run AI locally with zero cloud costs, deploy in minutes and not days? Keep your data 100% private. Imagine tomorrow, wake up to your AI infrastructure ready, process data without any privacy concern, build AI apps without cloud dependencies, and scale without unexpected costs. So previously, it's complex cloud setup, high monthly cost, and data privacy concern. But now we have simple local deployments, zero ongoing cost, and complete data control. With just three steps, clone the repo, configure the environment, and launch with the Docker. And why local AI matters? The future is here. Open source models now compete with the top closed source models. AI infrastructure is more accessible than ever. Take control of your AI development and you own your entire AI stack. You can extend possibilities from here. Today we'll be seeing about creating full RAG AI agents. After that, you can extend this by customizing, scaling your local infra, and build complete AI solutions. So let's get started today. So here is the RAG agent which we are going to create. As a user, when you ask a question to the large language model, without your company or custom data, this AI agent doesn't know the answer. By introducing RAG, you provide your custom or company data and store that in the vector database. Then this AI agent can retrieve relevant information and respond to the question with more accuracy. So RAG consists of two simple steps. One is indexing, that is storing the data in the database, and then querying. When the user asks a question, the AI agent retrieves relevant information from the database and answers more accurately. And that's exactly what we have set up here in this workflow. Here we got the user, the AI agent, and the vector store database. That is querying, and we got the indexing part here. As soon as we upload any file in Google Drive, it will automatically get extracted and stored that in this database. I'm going to take you through step by step on how you can install, create AI agents, set up database, and save data to database. Complete hands-on tutorial, and I'll put all the code in the description below. So you can just get started right away. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, install. As a prerequisite, you need Docker desktop to download and GitHub desktop. So first step, in your terminal, git clone, self-hosted AI starter kit, the whole path, and then click enter. Now let's navigate to the self-hosted AI starter kit folder. So here's the folder structure. You got the .env file and the Docker compose file. These are the two important files. You got documentation in this page, which you can just copy and paste, but there are a few things which you need to modify to make this work as expected, which I'll be covering that here. So here's the .env file. I've opened this file in the code editor. You can also just open this folder just by typing code dot if you are using VS Code. So in the .env file, if you want to make any modification here and it's recommended to modify. So once after you make those changes here, next we are going to open the Docker Compose file. Click on that. There you will find different services such as Postgres, NA to an import, but mainly we are interested in Postgres. So there, in this line, I'm going to add ports 543 to 543 to, that's it. And also in this init olama, I'm going to add this line, which says olama pull nomic embed text. That is the embedding model which we are going to use. So when olama starts, it automatically downloads llama 3.2 and nomic embed text. Llama 3.2 is the AI model. So now you can save this file. Let's come back to our terminal. There, just type docker compose hyphen hyphen profile CPU up. I'll provide all the command and the code in the description below. So after this, click enter. Now you can see it started working. First, it pulled Llama 3.2. Then it will pull Nomic embed text. 
The editor is now accessible via localhost 5678. And I'm going to open it. And here is the interface. Now second, creating a agent. Just for some clarity, if you open Docker desktop, you should see these four names listed there. This confirms that all our installation is working. Also note that if you are running Olama locally on your computer, you might need to disable temporarily for getting this work because we can't install Olama twice, one using Docker and another directly on our computer. So here's the AI agent part, which we are going to define in NA10. So in NA10, just clicking create workflow, they're adding the first step on chat message. So that is the initial hook coming back to the canvas. Now adding the agent by clicking this and you got advanced AI here, click on that AI agent. Now we got the AI agent. Here we need to define our large language model that is chat model, the memory to save our conversation and a tool. And this tool will be connected to our database. So clicking add chat model, there you got multiple options here. So I'm going to use Olama, clicking on that. And here is a credential which I've already created. So if I edit, just type Olama colon 11434. That should be fine for the base URL. And you can test your connection. Next, setting up the memory, clicking add memory and using Postgres chat memory, clicking on that. There, first setting up the credentials, clicking on the edit icon. So here the host, I'm mentioning host docker internal and the database NA10 user root and the password is the same password which initially got defined in .env. So whatever password you've defined here, that will be the actual password. So those are the details which I'm entering here. And again, you can try testing the connection. Going back to our AI agent, there we've completed setting up the model and the memory. Now step number three, set up database. That is a vector database. So that's what we are going to define in this tool section. Clicking on the plus icon, vector store tool. Clicking on that. Again, we need to define the vector store here. Clicking plus, it is Postgres PG vector store. Clicking on that. Operation mode is retrieve documents. Next, we need to add an embedding model for this vector database. Clicking on that, choosing embeddings Olama. Here, we'll be using the normic embed text. So this is the navigation. So currently, you are in Postgres PG vector store. This is assigned to vector store tool and the vector store tool is assigned to AI agent. So I'm going to click vector store tool. You need to provide a name that is clients information. And there we have already defined the vector store. We need to define the model as well. Clicking on plus, same as before, Olama chat model and setting Llama 3.2 as the model. That's it. Now, if we come back to canvas, this is our structure. So we got a vector store tool with Postgres vector database and Olama model. It's all ready now. For clarity, here is our A agent and here is our database. And we have completed creating A agent and setting up our vector database. And this is the only pending area. And the final step, save data to database. Now to store data in the database, we need to add Google Drive trigger. So adding a node, or you can just click the plus icon. And there I'm going to type Google Drive, clicking Google Drive, and there you got triggers at the bottom, clicking on the triggers on changes incoming to a specific folder. So here I'm just providing a URL to my Google Drive and watch for file created. Also, we need to set up Google Drive authentication. So clicking on the edit, there you need to get your client ID and client secret from Google. So once after you get the client ID and client secret, click sign in with Google and then it should show account connected like this. There's a detailed step on how you can create these credentials by clicking this link. So here's a detailed documentation on how to create those credentials. Go to console.google.com, they come to credentials and create credentials OAuth client ID. There you mention web application, N8 and authentication, and you can get these redirect rules from the previous page, which is mentioned here. So I'm just copying this. And the main URL goes in here, the full path. And then in the authorized JavaScript origin, click add URI. There I'm just providing the localhost 5678. You might need to add HTTP and that's it. Then you can click create. This will automatically create your client ID and client secret. You also might need to give a basic information to this OAuth consent screen. Now Google Drive trigger is ready. I'm going to test it by clicking this icon and I can see that it's working. Next, going back to Canvas, 
that is the main page. Here I'm going to add the same again, copy and paste. So in this, providing the URL again and watch for file updated. Previously it was file created, now it's file updated. And you can test again if you want and it's all working. Next we need to get the file ID from this. So clicking on plus. So after clicking the plus icon, we go to data transformation, edit fields. So here we are just saying execute previous nodes and we get the information here. And there is a file ID here. So I'm just dragging that and putting it here. Now it says ID. I'm going to change that as file ID and then testing the step and it's all working. Next, I can even connect this from here to here and keeping it center. Next, I want to download the file after this step. So clicking on plus Google Drive, clicking on that download file. So from the previous step, we got the file ID. So I can just choose by ID and then drop this here. Now I can click test step and now the file got downloaded. Next extracting the data from the file downloaded. Extract from file, here extract from text files and the final step to add the extracted data to the database. That is quadrant vector store, add documents to vector store. So here we just need to mention the quadrant collection name. It could be anything. Same as before adding the embedding that is Olama normic embed text and the default data loader. Here, JSON and uh, metadata, and I'm adding a property. So I can see an error here. One of the main reasons is that I forgot to convert the Google Drive file to text. So I just chose Google Drive, Google file conversion, add conversion, and here choosing Google Docs to text, and that's it. So testing it as before, also extracting from file, testing it, so I can see it got extracted. Similarly, going to vector store and testing it. And I need to set up this default data loader. So there I'm clicking execute previous notes. So I need to add text splitter, clicking on text splitter, recursive character text splitter and setting 100 for now. If you want more details in regards to chunking strategy, which is this splitting the text into chunks, I'll put the link in the description, which I've already covered in detail. So now I can click the test. So default data loader and in the mapping section, you will have the file ID. So that's what I'm going to drag that here. And that's it. Now I can go back to canvas and it is all ready. I know it took some time, but just to show you exactly what I did step by step, I had to go through all these steps slowly. So here's the Google Drive files, which I have. So if I open a file, here's the client information. So I can just copy Will David Williams and then click the chat here. So I'm going to ask the email address of David Williams. There's an error again. Let me try and fix it. Seems like I need to run this first. So let me fetch test details and getting the file ID, downloading to Google Drive, extract the file, and finally loading that in the vector database. Now indexing is completed. So the reason it failed because I didn't run indexing. So indexing is a process by which you store the data in the database. So we had the Google Drive. So I need to run the Google Drive, that is trigger Google Drive, to store the data in the database. Now it is done. Let's ask the question again. Again, if you find any error, click test workflow just to make sure that everything is set up properly. And then clicking chat, going to ask, what is the email address of David Williams? And now we can see the user is asking a question to the AI agent. Now the AI agent will trigger the vector store, that is the database. Then that data will get returned back to the AI agent and the AI agent will respond to us back. That's what we see in this image. Exact step replicated in N810. And here is the conversation. It retrieves the relevant information and the tool, AI tool output is David Williams email addresses, David Williams at example.com. That is correct. And I might need to modify this system prompt to use the information mentioned here to get this output properly. But overall, it's a working system. And you got querying on the left hand side and indexing on the right hand side. One more important thing to note is that you can create a workflow and you don't need to do any of the thing which I mentioned. Just go to my blog page, just copy this JSON code like this and come back to the empty workspace and just press control V that is pasting the workflow and you will get all the workflow just directly in this interface, getting it easy for you. And I'm really excited about this. And you can extend this from here to build more advanced system. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And I'm really excited about this. Considering you already like this N810 workflow, I've also created a beginner's tutorial 
which I put the link in here, it takes you step by step on how you can create AI agents from basic. And I highly recommend for you to watch that. And I will see you there.